everybody! I'm here today with a simple driving lesson. I'll be showing you how to straighten the steering wheel after parking. And this is a huge deal, whether you are taking your driving test in the near future or whether you have your license and you just don't know how to do it. It's important to know how to do it. So let's get right into it, into the video that is. All right, so essentially um, there are two ways to do this. And then once you practice it many times, it's going to become habitual. You won't even have to think about it. You'll just do it. The first way is to just remember how much you turn the wheel when you are, let's open this up, how, remember how much you turn the wheel when you're parking and then turn it back the opposite way, okay? Um, so in this case scenario, I'm just going to reverse backwards over here a little bit and I'll repark in the same spot. I'm sorry about the poor lighting. This is like the best lighting that I could create within this time frame. So I'm going to reverse back, okay? Let's reverse back this way. And then we're just gonna park again and I'll show you exactly what I would do. So let's say I'm reversing back, okay? Just like that. And I decide, okay, I'm gonna park the car. So we turn the wheel, you steer in. And then I remembered that I turned it like a, a quarter of a turn to the right. So I turn it back a quarter of, tur of a turn to the left, okay? Once again, I'll reverse back. We're gonna sort of create a, um, uh, we'll go the other way this time. So we're gonna go this way. Let's just get all messed up. Let's mess it up over here. Make sure not to hit any cars. Okay, we're gonna go in like this. Let's straighten out a little bit this way. And then like, oh, okay. I know I gotta turn back that way. So just remember, and now I'm, at, now I'm actually gonna straighten the car out, okay? <laughs> Cause I really parked in that spot crooked to make that demonstration happen. Um, essentially, you just wanna remember how much you turn the wheel. So check this out. I know I turned the wheel, like I said, a quarter of a turn that way, I turn it back this way. So if you turned it a quarter of a turn to the right to get into the spot or half a turn, then you're gonna just turn it to the left the same amount. Okay, that's the first way. The second way is what most beginners are gonna have to do because they won't remember how much they turn the wheel. Um, and that is that you have to understand how your steering wheel works. What I want you to do is turn your steering wheel all the way to the right, okay? All the way to the right. Now turn it all the way to the left and count how many turns it, it actually, it, how many turns happen. So I'm gonna count, okay, here we go. One, two, two and a half for me. Now in most cars, ironically, it's gonna be about three full turns from all the way to the right to all the way to the left, okay? And you can do it again from left to right, okay? One, two and a half. Like I said, in most cars, it's gonna be three. Now take that number and cut it in half. So for me, two and a half cut in half is gonna be one and a quarter. That means the number that you get um, is gonna be how many turns to get it to centered. So if let's say your number was three, that half of that number is gonna be one and a half. So you're gonna to have to turn one and a half turns to get it to center, because you're going from the extreme right to the extreme left. Half of that number is gonna bring you to the middle. So for myself, it was one and a quarter. So what I'm gonna do is I'm all the way to the right now, so I'm gonna turn a quarter and then one. So one and a quarter, and now I know my wheels are straight. So how do you apply this to parking? Well, let's say you park. I'm just gonna mess up the wheel. Whatever. I messed up the wheel. I don't know where it is right now. Let's say you park, right? Okay, you don't know how much you gotta turn the wheel to straighten out the, the steering wheel or to straighten out the, the wheels of the car after parking. Well, check this out. Turn the wheel all the way in any direction. Let's go to the right. I'm gonna turn it all the way to the right. Doesn't matter which direction. Now take that half number, which for me was one and a quarter. For you it might be, and it's likely gonna be one and a half, and turn it in the other direction. So one and a quarter for me, a quarter, and one, one and a quarter. There you go, that's it. Now I know my wheels are straight. Now just for clarification, when I say um, how to straighten the steering wheel, I don't mean just make the steering wheel straight because right now my steering wheel is straight, but my wheels are not straight. You can do this because it looks great, but it's like having a house that looks beautiful, but inside is a disaster, right? You know, it looks great, but my, my wheels of my car are not straight. And what happens if you don't do it is when I start reversing, well, all of a sudden my car is going to the side and I'm probably gonna scrape another car, okay? 
So when I say straighten the steering wheel, I mean straighten the steering wheel and the actual wheels of the car. Like the house is gonna look great and it's gonna perform great, it's gonna be strong. That's the idea that I want. And over time, once you've done this many times, like you're gonna have to think about it and do it like this intentionally, with intention at first. But once you do it many times, you're not gonna have to think about it. It's a natural thing. I don't think about how much to turn my wheel each time I park. I just straighten my wheels out each time without thinking about it. So the key factor is that you're gonna have to put in the hours at first to practice practice it intentionally and then once you practice it enough times you're just gonna be it's just gonna happen because your muscle memory and your mind memory are gonna work together to just make it happen but that's basically it that is essentially how to straighten the wheel after parking very simple you can remember how much you turn the wheel and then turn it back so I'm like okay half a turn to the right now I go half a turn to the left remember what it is you know um, or just steer all the way to one direction and to one side and then go back your half number so once again, so I can go a quarter and then one. So one and a quarter and then my wheels would be straight. Like I said, for you, it's most likely going to be one and a half because with your vehicle and most vehicles, actually, it's going to be like uh, three full turns to go from all the way to the right to all the way to the left instead of two and a half. But it all depends on the car. So that's why I told you how to figure out that number. And that's it. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below as a comment. And of course, be sure to subscribe for more great car and driving videos just like this one. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.